Today video I am going to show you that Lewis structure, geometry and bond angle of a compound. So first to determine that Lewis structure, you need to count that steric number. So you can also see that whole uh, whiteboard I draw a lot of structure. So this is just a common concept. So before going to that Lewis structure, you need to know that steric number. Then we will go that geometry and the effect of that lone pair. So first to determine that uh, aesthetic number you need to know that single bond is count as one and double bond also is count as one triple also count as one and lone pair also count as one so uh, to uh, determine that aesthetic number i can give you an example right so we already know that structure of water molecule right so in that order molecule there is two single bond right so one two and two lone pair one three this is four so one two three four so this number are count as aesthetic number so any kind of compounds like ammonia you can see that structure so ammonia has three single bond right single bond which will count as three and one lone pair which will count as one so ammonia also have like four steric number okay so when we count that four or, or any uh, steric number then we can go through that general topics and we can go through that Lewis structure geometry and bond angle of any compound okay in this video i'm going to discuss about specifically this compound spcl4 this lewis structure then i will find out their geometry then bond angle so before go to that their lewis structure we need to find out their valence electron okay so here you can see that antimony has five valence electron and chlorine has seven. So seven multiplied by four because there is four chlorine and there is extra one electron. So for that minus. So we got 34 valence electron. Then we need to go to that Lewis structure. But before going to that Lewis structure, we need to know who is one will go to that middle so to determine that you need to determine that they are least electronegativity of that element so here you can see that for antimony 2.05 and chlorine has 3.16 electronegativity so you can easily identify that antimony has least electronegativity and it will go to that middle we said that middle that antimony right then we need to go to that Lewis structure, okay? So then we need to set that valence electron around that antimony. So there is five valence electron, I'll put like that. So this is four and this is five. Then we'll go to that four chlorine. So I will set that chlorine here, here, here and here. So now we know that chlorine has seven valence electron. Then we need to set that valence electron around that chlorine. So there, I will set that chlorine seven valence electron. Then, then I will make that bond with that antimony. So you can say that there is extra one electron. Okay. So I will put that electron here because there is extra one which will come from that number. So you can see that will go here and then I will make that bond. So this will make that bond here, here, here and this one will make the bond here. Okay. So you can see that there is one extra lone pair, right? So this one is left so if i if i redraw that so it is like that 
colorín. Here is one long pair. Colorin and colorin. So this is the simple structure of that compound, but this is the dot structure of or Lewis structure of that compound. So you can see that now we need to find out that aesthetic number, which is for single bond, we already know that one is considered for that aesthetic number, and also one is con considered for that lone pair. So there is another one. So there is total five aesthetic number, right? Five. Then we need to match that number with that table, which I already draw. So here you can see that this is the five aesthetic number. So now we have one lone pair. So for one lone pair, you can see this structure is seesaw or saw horse. So the structure we already draw, it will be like that, that saw horse or saw horse or seesaw. So without lone pair, it should be trigonal bipyramidal, but we have one lone pair, so it will be saw horse or seesaw. If I redraw that structure, it will be like that. So this is our seesaw structure. So this is our geometry and what is what about the bond angle? You can see it will be less than 120. So because of that one pair of lone pair electron. Okay. So this is the clear clear impact of lone pair one bond angle because it should be 120 but because of that lone pair it is less than 120 so in this video you identify that Lewis structure of SBCL4 and then we find that geometry which is seesaw and we also find that bond angle also we see that the impact of lone pair on bond angle I think you got it thank you